Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a super exciting video. Uh, we are doing some homecoming hair and makeup tutorial. Um, this was a super requested video and I'm super excited to do this. I'm gonna get ready for my very, not my very first homecoming, this is my fourth homecoming. Um, I can't believe that I've been to homecoming that many times because I only went to like public school for like one year So I think this is just really funny for homecoming. I always go for more of a natural Look not too exaggerated uh, because it isn't on stage. It's just up close and personal All that good stuff, but you still want to look glowy and dewy for your pictures um, Let's get this video started. I'm so excited. Okay first. I'm going to take off my glasses Looks super scary. I have no makeup on right now. So um, yikes. <laughs> I'm gonna pull my hair back so I'm not messing with it every five seconds because that's just my favorite thing to do. And for hair, I'm just gonna curl my hair um, because hair gets messed up anyway for homecoming and like school dances. So I feel like an updo and all that fancy schmancy stuff that people do sometimes is just not necessary because you're gonna be dancing and your hair is just gonna fall so <laughs> so first I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my face you can use your own moisturizer um, that you use at home and every day I personally like using a uh, Tatcha water cream it's a little bit on the pricier side you can find it at Sephora um, but it is one of my favorites also a really important thing that most girls miss is to moisturize your neck. You're going to have to put makeup down there because you want your neck to match your face. And you don't want to have like wrinkles on your neck. Like I have already have lines for my double chin. But try to prevent that, you know? Um, but next I'm just going to take a chapstick. I like Burt's Bees. It's probably my favorite chapstick besides Carmax. I like something that's teeny. Uh, and this is the set Eucalyptus. And it's a great... Great ass chops, chopstick. Chopstick is chopstick. So next, I'm going to begin by priming my eyes. I don't like to prime my face. I don't know. I just don't know why. I just don't like it. So um, my favorite primer is from MAC. But this is a primer, and this is in the shade Pearl. Um, and it's a cream color base. And I'm just going to take like a wide brush like this. And I'm just going to put it all over my eyelids. Um... Like I said, for eyes, I'm gonna use a lot of warm tones um, and a lot of like rose gold tones and gold tones because I'm wearing gold jewelry. I'm gonna take this uh, Tarte palette that I got at Sephora um, and it's foil, foil finger paints. And I'm gonna take the shade Bahama Mama, which is this shade, and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. This is just to start off with, um, there is, other palettes that are a little bit more pigmented and they stay on better, this is just for a base. Um, I'm gonna create kind of a rose gold look and then I'm gonna make it more gold later. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take this Pat McGrath palette. Now this palette's a little bit more on the pricier side, but it, she's just as amazing and she's probably one of the best um, makeup artists out there. And this is like my favorite palette to use. So in the Pat McGrath palette, I'm gonna use this shade, which is kind of like, a bronzy like tone and it's kind of give me like more of a smoky eye look I use this this palette for literally everything um, anytime I go out anytime I go to a party or like an event I always use this palette it is my saving grace um, and it's super pigmented too and now that we have the rose gold on the bottom it like kind of looks a little bit like you kind of see it peeking through but not really which I love So then I'm also going to take this color in the Pat McGrath. I'm going to take the uh, blending color, which is kind of like a honey, honey bear color, you can kind of say. And I'm just going to go, I'm just going to blend it in in my crease. Then I'm going to take this color in the Pat McGrath palette, the lighter shade of gold. It's like a pinky shade. And I'm going to put it up by my eyebrow. I'm just gonna go over this. Even though my eyebrows aren't shaped yet, it's never too early to put your glitter there. Um, or the shimmer it up. And so it kind of highlights where you want it. I'm gonna take a, like a smoky eye brush, you could say. It looks like this, you guys can see. Or like a brush like that. And I'm gonna dip it into, sorry, I just 
through everything. I'm gonna dip it into this color of the Pat McGrath palette. Now, I know I'm using this palette, but you can totally use your own colors and your own palettes. Like, Naked has pretty color, like a pretty similar color scheme. Um, you don't have to use this exact palette because it's quite pricey. So, if you guys can see. But I take it here and I'm gonna go up. Don't worry, we're gonna blend it out. It's gonna look great. And I'm just gonna take it in. Kind of like where your crease is to create depth. And then I'm gonna take this brush again and I'm gonna dip it back into the blending color and I'm gonna blend that crap out. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use this shade of gold in the inner corners of my eye. This shade's super pigmented, so you can get the shimmer from really far away and it's also gorgeous on camera. Okay. I look nuts right now, but it's gonna look good in like a few minutes. I'm gonna take um, concealer. <laughs> um, I like this Tarte concealer, and it's the creaseless concealer from them. And it's quite, like it's more of a thick th um, concealer, but it's perfect for pictures. Um, like NARS is normally my go-to on everyday makeup, but because we're going to a homecoming dance and we're gonna be sweating, I'm gonna use this because it's a little bit thicker and it lasts longer. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, I got it wet, um, and I'm gonna blend it all out so I don't look like a crazy person. Now, Laura Mercier is my favorite loose powder, but I'm currently out. So this powder is from Ultra Beauty Mineral Powder Foundation. It's like super cheap, I got it at like CVS. Um, and it has a little bit of tint to it, which I'm not really used to, but like that's okay. And I'm just gonna take what I have on a kind of brush like this and I'm gonna, anywhere I just put concealer, I'm gonna bake my face. This is like not really what makeup artists taught me, but I always do bronzer and blush underneath my powder. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take the Hoola, Hoola by Benefit bronzer. It's my favorite, I think it's everyone's favorite. I'm gonna take a brush like this, although you can use whatever brush you like for um, bronzer. And I'm just gonna suck my cheeks in. Now I'm going to take, um, well, I created this palette for my dance competitions at MAC. And I, for today, hmm, for today I think I feel like using, I'm gonna mix these two colors because this is too pink, but this is just about right. And I'm just gonna mix them. And then I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna get the apples on my cheeks. Okay, so now that my face looks like a pound cake, <laughs> I'm gonna take some Studio Fix from MAC and I'm just gonna blend out my face. So this is uh, the powder Studio Fix from MAC and I'm using the shade C4 uh, because it matches my skin tone the best, but whatever your skin tone is, they have a bunch of colors. And I'm gonna take a, a brush like this, also from MAC, um, and I'm just gonna brush it. I'm not gonna use the sponge because the sponge absorbs too much. And I'm gonna blend in through my neck first. Now, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna use this Anastasio Brow Pencil because there's the best. I'm using shade dark brown. Um, looks like this, or there's a thicker one. This is my thin one. I prefer the thicker one, but I lost it somewhere and I don't know where it went. So yeah. Okay, we're almost done. Now, um, my favorite part <laughs> is highlighter. Highlighter is my absolute life and I'm obsessed with it. I think more highlighter the better. Um, this highlighter is called Soft Frost and it's from MAC and it's beautiful. I'm gonna take an angle brush like this and I'm just gonna dip it. I've used this a lot so it's kinda got like a little bit of makeup on it but like whatever. I'm gonna do it right above where I did my blush. Right here. Um, and I love highlighter here. It's not a common place. Put your highlighter right in between your eyebrows to brighten up your forehead. A little bit, a little bit on the nose. I don't, I'm not a big fan of light, like nose highlight. I freaking love highlights. Okay, now um, I'm gonna just take this angle brush again that we used 
to dip the corners and I'm just gonna take it underneath my eyes ever so slightly and drag it underneath. Okay, now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, which is almost the, almost the final step. Now, this is my favorite uh, mascara, and I've used a bunch of mascaras in the past, and I have have like a lot, but this is just seems to be the one that I always use because it's my favorite, and it works the best on my eyes. And it's, actually, you can buy it at Target. It's Lash Paradise, and it's from L'Oreal, I think. I think this is L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, it's either L'Oreal, I'm blame one or the other. I don't know. And then lick your Q-tip. And get it on your lips too, because your lips probably have foundation. Oh, yeah, and you're probably wondering why I didn't use foundation. You can totally add that to your set. I just feel like foundation is so heavy, so I never use foundation, like ever. And then next, I'm gonna take a brush like this, and I'm going to dip it into a color that's a little bit darker, kind of like a blue black color. I'm gonna lick the brush. And then I'm just gonna go, oops, I'm gonna go over my lash line. That is your makeup look. Now I'm going to pull up my hair. Uh, and my hair is kind of already curled. And I don't know if I want it. This is like curled from like three days ago. I haven't washed my hair yet. Oh well. So we're going to go with oily hair today. But it's fine. I'm just going to do one more thing because I forgot. And that is everyone's favorite. And it is lipstick. I'm going to take this color from like a natural pinkish nude color. And this color is called Velvet Teddy from MAC. See, now for hair, I don't really mess with my hair too much because my hair holds fantastic curls ever since I dyed it. Um, and so I'm just gonna style it a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of roll my fingers through it to add volume. Um, if you have spray that you like to use, use it. I'm gonna take a little bit of hairspray. This is just Tresemme hairspray. And I'm just gonna spray where I have it right now. On the bottoms too, crunch it. Crunch it. If you guys have like an oil spray that you'd like to use after it, go ahead and do that. I just spray mine. I just use like a finish, finishing oil. Moroccan oil has the best prices on coming out. There it goes. Just to like give your hair some uh, nice and volume and silk. And that, my friends, is homecoming hair and makeup tutorial. Um, I know I didn't curl my hair today, but I just normally take a regular curling iron. I normally take a bigger inch of um, a curling iron. I don't really like super small curls because I like my hair to look more tousled than like perfect. All right, guys, and that is your final look for homecoming hair and makeup. Um, this video was so much fun to shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys are heading off to homecoming after watching this video, have a great time. Um, and if you guys do like this look and you guys are going to do it for homecoming, please tag me in it. I want to see all your guys' beautiful renditions of it. Um, you guys can tag me on Instagram at underscore Sophia Lucia. I can't wait to see you guys in your pretty dresses or pretty suits, whatever your heart desires to wear. And if you guys like me and like my YouTube channel and want me to make more videos, push the subscribe button down below and comment what you guys want to see next. All right, I'll see you guys next time.